Nice. Uh, I actually almost forgot about a word problem. I think it's important to get back into word problems because people have a lot of aversion to them. And uh, I want to just reintroduce them into the world um, and hopefully demonstrate that they're not so bad. The only piece of advice that I would give people that are hesitant about word problems, understandably so, I do get it and I sympathize, is to own the problem, like understand what it means sentence by sentence. All right, and we're going to do that together now. So you have Susie here. If Susie sells a total of 50 fruits in a day, pause. Does that make sense? Think it through. Susie is selling 50 pieces of fruit. All right, that's kind of a fun job. I'd probably eat my stock, but either way, she's selling 50 pieces of fruit. She sells eight more apples than plums. Eight more apples than plums. Can you picture that she's selling more apples than she's selling plums, right? It's not balanced anymore. More apples than plums. In fact, eight more apples than plums. We can even put a little bar graph. So these are your apples. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Um, I won't continue the song because it's repetitive. And these are your plums. Plums. And this is plus eight. All right? Can we picture that? Eight more apples than plums. And check it out, I didn't actually phrase the question. You phrase the question. Think about what it would ask. What could it possibly ask, right? Would it ask like, how much do they cost? Is there any reference to cost? Would it mention something about grapes? No, no, we have enough for a question. So the only thing that we don't know is what? Is how many of each? That's the question. And that's what's really interesting about this process Sometimes you don't even need to be asked the question. If you come up with the question yourself, if you anticipate it, just like in math, just like in life, if you can anticipate the question, then you're really, really like, you're in control, okay? So the question is, how many of each, homie? I don't know if it's IE or not, but I just went with the Y, right? Homie, don't play that. So let's find out how many of each. Again, we could do this algebraically or we can do it um, intuitively. So there's eight more apples and plums. There's a total of 50 fruits, um, pieces of fruit, I should say. What if I wanted to get a little baseline? I could say 25 and 25. That works, that adds up to 50. Problem solved, drop the marker. No, you know that this side's supposed to be eight more, all right? So what if I added one here? Add a fruit, let's make it apples. And let's make it plums in blue. Plums. I'm definitely the type of person when I talk about food and my problems, because it motivates me, I get hungry. <laughs> it's a occupational hazard. So I'm gonna add one to apples, and now it's 26. Boom. What would plums have to be to add up to 50? Of course, because there's a total of 50 fruits. That is 24. Good. They add up to 50. Problem solved. We are done. No, we're not. I'm intentionally doing this so that you know to put the brakes on, right? These do add up to 50, but they're not eight away. They're two away. So let's continue that trend, right? Let's just be people and solve a problem as people. We don't necessarily need the algebra every time because if we do the algebra mindlessly, it's meaningless. Mindless equals meaningless. So let's uh, add some more. Maybe we'll add two this time to 26. Let's add two. That made uh, 26, that's 28. Boom, solid. That would make plums to add up to 50 pieces. 22, like a boss. Uh, no. No, they're not. It's not. That's six away. That's six away from each other. So maybe we could try adding one more. Said with an up speak. That was adding one more makes it 29. So then taking one down from that made it 21. Do they add up to 50? Yes. Are they eight away from each other? Yes. This problem is solved. Okay. Now let's make the link to algebra. Now let's make the link to algebra. Because if we're asking how many of each homie, that means how many are we selling? Let's let 
x represent apples, because we don't know what it is. Don't be afraid to create variables, right? The variables are what we're solving for. I think a lot of students, when they're like, oh no, let x equal this and let y equal that, there's a formality to it that's, that's sort of a, a turnoff, okay? But if you are in command and you're saying how many of each, that means since I don't know how many of each, I need to make it some sort of unknown letter to represent how many of each, all right? So don't be afraid to represent what you don't know with the letter until you uncover it, okay? So in fact, let's let y represent this. All right, plums. In fact, now that I did this, I already see what we can do differently, okay? If there are eight more apples, if there are eight more apples, and I know that plums is y, would it make sense to say if there's eight more apples that I would do this? Check it out. You, it's critical that you understand this point. Even if you couldn't come up with it yourself, it's critical that you understand it. If we're going to say y represents plums, and there's eight more apples than plums, that would mean that whatever y is, you have to add eight to it, and that's apples. Again, whatever y is, if you add eight to it, that's eight more than this. Apples is eight more than this, okay? And so then you know that the number of apples plus the number of plums, come on easily, is 50. The number of apples and the number of plums should add up to 50. Let's see if it works. Apples in this case, and you know what, I'm going to do an executive decision. I'm going to call this P, all right? P for plum. Is there eight more? P is plum. Apples is eight more than those plums. And I'm going to throw it in. Boss. Boom. Boom. These two add up to 50. P plus P is 2P plus 8 equals 50. Subtract 8 on both sides. We're hardcore algebra now. 2P equals 42. This is definitely a teacher moment. Using real estate. Every last piece. Divide both by two of fruit is P equals 21. And isn't that exactly what we came up with before? 21 plums, add eight to that. And we have green apples at 29 plus eight, add to that. So ask yourself, which is more appealing of fruit as well? It's a pun day. Um, stay. I kind of like the intuitive way, personally, because this problem makes sense to me. But they won't always make sense to us. So what we need to do is we need to be able to control the algebra to our favor. Okay, so if you can do both and find that bridge, then you're in good shape. All right, I hope that helped. Thank you. Yay, math. See you next time.